All right, hi everyone. Uh, today is October 19th, 2020. We're going to go over uh, field mapping. So, uh, if you go to week of 10 19 2020, you'll see a document called 10 19 2020 Field Map Practice. You're going to select that document and load it open. I'm going to make a copy of this just so I don't write on yours. And let's take a look at it. So I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can get a better view. All right. So you'll notice it says here, connect points of equal temperature with isotherms. Remember, iso means equal, therms means temperature. So points of equal temperature. Use a five degree interval. I'm going to use my scribble tool. So I'm going to go up here to select line, go down to scribble, and I'll actually draw across these. So if you remember the, the rules that we spoke about uh, for drawing, ISO lines and field maps, you always need to leave the box or go off the page. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to draw a line that goes straight through each of these 30s and then exit off the side. I need to label it. And this one is 30C. I would say. I need to do the same thing for my 25. And then I need to do the same thing for the 20. Try to be neat, try to go slow. Uh, I've really got to make sure everything is labeled. 25C. C. All right, excellent. So you've completed your first field map. Not too bad. Let's take a look at the next one. It says, Connect points of equal temperature using isotherms and an interval of 5 degrees C. So you'll notice i got a bunch of 15s along the outside. I've got 20s in the middle section and then 25s in the very dead center. So if you go back to our rules, you'll remember uh, that you need to either go off the page or you need to end in a complete circle. So I'm going to start here with number 15, connect my 15s together. Fifteen, fifteen. Ah, come on. Fifteen, 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 fifteen. Okay, okay, beautiful. Uh, we got to do the same thing for the twenty. And you got to do the same thing for the twenty fives. All right. Got to come back and actually label things uh, just like we did before. 20C, 15C, and 25C. All right, second field map is done. Moving along. On our third field map, you can see we've got one, two, three 20s going straight across. Then we go straight through, label that. So that wasn't a big deal, but if you move down to the one below it, you could see we got a bit of a problem here. We got a 19 and a 20. So this 19 here is less than 20, 21 is more than that. In between the two, we have an invisible uh, 20 can't see it, it's hidden in there, and it's right in between the 19 and the 21. So I'm actually going to just draw it in there, I'm going to label it, and now that it's drawn in there, I can use it as one of the points so I can draw. So that's interpolation. Now, that wasn't a very complicated example, but the next one might be a bit more. So if you can see here, we've got a mess of numbers on the left. It's got a little bit cut off, but it says draw isotherms using a one degree Celsius interval. I like to start off at the bottom. You don't have to, but let's start there. 20, 20, 20, 20, cut off. 21. 
21, 21, 21, 21, 21. My 22s. 23s. Twenty fours. You also notice I'm following the pattern of the previous ones. Twenty five. Like, why would I start up all the way on the left there? Well, if you notice that the twenty five, uh, twenty fours, and twenty threes, they all start off higher on the left and they swoop on down. So I'm going to continue that pattern. And then lastly, with the twenty sixes, come down from the top and pop back up. So I follow the pattern. I would then need to label each twenty C. 21C, 22C, 22C. Okay, so there's that one. Um, so this next one right here, I'd like you to pause the video, try and do it yourself. Okay, if you've done it, if you'd like to come back, let's take a look. Here I've got uh, a 50 degree interval. It says go by fives. So I'm going to connect my 50s. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. I'm going to do the same thing with the 55s. I'm going to do the same thing with the 60s. And then lastly, with the uh, 65s in the middle, considering I have only two, I'm going to have to assume it follows that same circular pattern and continue like that. I'm going to have to label each 50C, 55C, 60C. And lastly, 65. Okay, and down here, you can see where we need to interpolate. So I'm going to start off on the bottom. It says go by tens. I'm, I see two tens right here. There's one there, one there, and I go off the page. I really can't justify going straight across to this next side over here because I've got a 20 in the middle. This 20 is kind of blocking me. This 12 is kind of blocking me because I can't bring the 10 straight under. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my 10s up into two separate chunks of 10. So I got 10s on the left and 10s on the right. Notice they both go off the page. Next I'm going for 20s because it's telling me to go by a 10 degree interval. I've got a 20 here, a 20 here. I've got a 20 down here, 20 up here, 20 over here, and off the page. Now 30 is where it becomes a little bit more problematic. I'm going to insert arrows at point to each spot where I have a 30. So I've got a 40 there in the top, and I've got a 20 in between. I know that a 30 exists in between them. I know that a 30 exists between these two, this 26 and the 35. I know a 30 exists between 29 and 31. I know a 30 exists between 27 and 33. I know a 30 exists here. I know a 30 exists here. So now that I've plotted where my 30s are, I can pretty easily sketch out where it's going to be. So I'm using those arrow tips as my 30. And hang on it. Right. We could do the same thing for the 40s. I'm just going to get rid of these arrows so I can see the numbers a little better. So there is a 40 here, 40 between these two, a 40 here, 40 here, 40, 40, 40, and then that would just run off the side. Yeah, this one's bad. Um, that's it. So you would go through, do the rest of those. You also have to label these. I'm not going to spend the time to do that on here, but um, I think you guys know how to do this now.
If you have any questions, please shoot me an email, reach out, or comment on this video, and I will do my best to get back to you.